There was a time in 2012 where a 21-year-old Mario Balotelli helped Manchester City win a Premier League title and shortly after carried his Italy team to the final of the European Championships. But throughout the years, his career has seemingly been going downhill. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raymar back again for another video and today, we're gonna look at what's been happening to Mario Balotelli's footballing career. In the 2011 season of the Premier League, Mario Balotelli was quickly making a name for himself as an explosive, athletic, and gifted young goal-scoring talent. After moving from Inter Milan to join his former coach Roberto Mancini at Manchester City, Balotelli was quickly showing the Premier League what he was made of, making his debut scoring the game-winning goal in a Europa League match against Romanian side Palatinica. The 20-year-old Balotelli would slowly make his way into the Manchester City rotation, providing an extra offensive option alongside Sergio Aguero and Edin Dzeko. Mario Balotelli would win the Golden Boy, which is an award given to the best player under the age of 21 in any top-tier European league. Balotelli would continue to shine as he would be named the Man of the Match in the 2011 FA Cup Final against Stoke City, winning Manchester City's first trophy in 35 years. Now bear in mind, this was all happening at a time where Manchester City was not as successful or dominant of a club as they are today. So you can kind of understand the hype that was surrounding Manchester City and Mario Balotelli. In the following 2012 season, the club was just starting to make its resurgence with Balotelli being a huge contributor to the club's success, scoring 17 goals in 32 appearances. He was also vital in helping Manchester City win the Premier League to secure the title back in 2012. The summer right after the Premier League season had ended, Balotelli would help his Italy team reach the final of the European Championships, scoring the same amount of goals as the eventual champion and Golden Boot winner, Fernando Torres. This year proved to be the best and most successful the young 21-year-old striker had so far, both on and off the pitch. He was having career-high numbers, his fame began to skyrocket as he would land the cover of Time Magazine and GQ Magazine, he was a champion, and he was getting paid 20 million euros. Amazing for a guy that in the United States would just barely have been old enough to buy alcohol. And if any of you ever played FIFA Ultimate Team back in 2012, you would remember that Mario Balotelli's player and stats were very overpowered. But anyways, to get back to the point I was making, Mario Balotelli was slowly becoming a global superstar. However, the problem was, there had always been a negative narrative following Mario Balotelli throughout his career that may have gotten in the way of his development and success. This is because Mario Balotelli was infamous for his behavior and disciplinary issues both on and off the pitch. Balotelli had always been portrayed by the media as a difficult and troubled person. Whether it's bad timing or just bad luck, he is often found doing rather questionable yet slightly amusing things. His former coach Jose Mourinho once described him as unmanageable. Even his earliest mentor and former coach Roberto Mancini even frequently claimed that he thought Balotelli was a great talent, but quite frankly, was absolutely crazy. The funniest thing though is Balotelli even said himself that sometimes he does strange things. How strange you ask? Well, Balotelli once shot air guns at the sky for no apparent reason when he was in Milan. He was photographed with two known Italian mobsters at a club. He is the head of a cult following, got into a car accident because he was holding 5,000 British pounds in one hand, and when asked by the responding police officer why he was holding it while driving, he simply said, because I'm rich. Also, he visited a women's prison in Italy because he wanted to have a look around. He played with an iPad on the bench during a football match and accidentally burned his house down because he was playing with fireworks. So yeah, you can see Mario Balotelli was a pretty interesting individual to say the least. However, since winning the Premier League title with Manchester City, Mario Balotelli seemed to not be doing as much on the pitch as he was outside of it. After scoring just 3 goals in 20 appearances in the 2013 season for City, Balotelli would return back to Italy and be signed with AC Milan, breaking the club record for the most goals scored in the first few matches of a new signing. 
He would play there for two seasons and performed fairly well even for the high expectations everyone had for him, scoring 30 goals in 54 appearances. And although Milan was doing well, they weren't too close to winning the Serie A title, so Balotelli would look back to England and the Premier League in search for another title. Then in 2015, Balotelli would be signed by Liverpool due to their need of a striker after Luis Suarez left to join Barcelona. This would be the worst season in Balotelli's professional career, only scoring 4 goals in 28 appearances. Balotelli said himself that he was not happy at Liverpool and thought that the team and staff were not supportive or made him feel welcomed at all, even claiming that the fans had racist attitudes towards him. He would have a lot of issues with his teammates as well, forcing the team to loan him back to his former club AC Milan. But when he got back there, he unfortunately suffered an injury which required surgery that sidelined him for around 3 months. This would be a new low in Balotelli's career. Being 25 years old at the time and bouncing around different clubs, there was still a lot of time for him to make a comeback but some clubs just didn't want to take the risk. But last year in 2017, Mario Balotelli found a saving grace by joining the French club Nietzsche. This would be a resurgence in Mario Balotelli's career, playing for a rather small club in the Ligue 1 away from any mainstream media where he was becoming more matured and finding himself learning to love the game of football once again. The small club and its fan base have been really supportive of Balotelli with him saying that he feels at home and just wants to focus on playing the game and helping his club win. So far, Balotelli has scored 65 goals in 43 appearances with his best best ever goal scoring ratio of his career, averaging about one goal every one and a half games. So far in Nietzsche, there has been nothing but love for what Mario Balotelli has been doing in the French league. The man is only 27 years old, so there is still a lot of time for him to restore his career and form to this superstar level that it used to be. Balotelli has been working hard, laying low and slowly but surely getting back into great form. Who knows, we might even see him back in the Serie A or the Premier League next season, with Balotelli stating that he is mentally and physically ready to get back into the big stage once again. And I personally hope for nothing but the best for Mario Balotelli because he really was an interesting player to watch and is a great talent that may just have been misunderstood. It would be amazing to see the man playing for a top tier team once again and helping them succeed. And hopefully he can continue to entertain us like he's been doing for so many years. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, it really supports my channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think about Mario Bellatelli and his career in the comment section below, and feel free to suggest any other topics you'd want me to make a video about. Thank you so much for the continued support, and I'll see you in the next one.